Hi, I am Felix Tan. In this tutorial, we are going to review a training game. Playing Red is a secondary school Xiangqi enthusiast, though lasted only 17 moves. The game has several features worth our exploring. Here it goes. Traditionally, black plays horse 2 plus 3 on the third move, arriving at the classic screen horse formation. Red will then have the freedom of choosing the course of attack. The three most popular options are pawn 3 plus 1, pawn 7 plus 1, and horse 8 plus 9. By advancing its 7 pawns first, black restricts the number of variation in red's pocket. Contemporary master mostly play chariot 2 plus 6 at once. This will avoid black's continuation with cannon 8 plus 4, as in this game, or cannon 2 plus 4, leading to the double flying cannon's variation, a fierce opening scheme. Advancing the cannon to red's pawn rank forms a blockade. As a result, red will not be able to start any offensive from his right flank. Now it is important to note that this blockade works well because black has already stepped up his seventh pawn, making red's third pawn an obliging carriage for the cannon. Red has another alternative. Cannon 8 plus 2, which prepares for pawn 3 plus 1 to undermine the cannon blockade. Linking the elephants strengthens the defense formation. An alternative is to play cannon 2 to 5, seeking early counterattack. However, if you choose to attack more quickly, you will more likely experience a faster retaliation from your opponent. Red's thinking is to solidify the center, preventing black cannon from taking the pawn with check. However, it is a tidy move at this opening stage. Red has better Alternatives here. For example, cannon 8 plus 7 followed by chariot 9 to 8 to pin down black's right cannon. This was what Grandmaster Yang Guan Lin played against Grandmaster Hu Ronghua in the China National Open Championship 1960. Red could also play horse 3 minus 1, a subtle move to dislodge Black's cannon blockade. I would like to make a detour here to show you the insights of this variation. The horse attacking the intruding cannon. Red's chariot is left unprotected. It is safe, nevertheless. If black tries to win the chariot with discover attack, then red has this counter check. Black could not capture the cannon for obvious reason. In the end, black is one cannon down. Uh, let's backtrack to here. If black instead plays cannon 8 plus 1, skewing red's horse and cannon, red bravely sacrifice his chariot for the cannon, applying the forfeit and recover tactic. Red maintains the initiative 
with an extra pawn. Okay, let's go back to the actual play now. Red play advisors six plus five. A horse at the riverbank can serve as a good outpost if it can stay there as long as it wishes. But in the present situation, this red horse has no scope in front and soon becomes a target of attack. More appropriate here is elephant 7 plus 9, preparing for chariot 9 to 6, attacking the black horse. This move is a common tactic to drive away the opponent's horse outposts. Red chose to treat horses. It is common mentality not willing to bring a piece back to where it has just come from. However, in the present situation, it would be wisest to withdraw the horse, though black still gain the upper hand after cannon 2 plus 1. The exchange enables black to bring out the other chariot first and dominate an open far. Black has increased his positional advantage. Beginners seem to be contented when there is no material loss in trading pieces, overlooking the positional damage consequent to the exchange. harnessing the horse that is gunning black central pawn and left chariot. Well, what else can this isolated cannon do in foreign ground? Black reckoned that the time for a full-scale counter-attack was ripe, so he decided to abandon the central pawn. This is rather puzzling. He should have captured the center pawn first, then connected the elephants with elephant 7 to 5. He would have a more solid formation and would still be able to develop the chariot via the 6 far. This cannon is totally out of play after running in to the obscure corner. A better escape route is cannon 6 minus 1. If black takes the cannon with his horse, then chariot 9 to 6, recovering a piece. If black continues as in the actual play, the cannon can go back later to defend the horse. Taking the pawn as planned, preparing for the invasion of his cannon by way of the 7th far. Voila, attacking the undefended horse. Ah, a fatal error. Stepping up the chariot to get the horse would hold the game longer. The position obeys black, a quick checkmate combination with brilliant sacrifices. Black sacrifices another piece as part of his plan. Black is now threatening horse 5 plus 3 or horse 5 plus 7, a double attack ending in smarter checkmate. If red plays chariot 6 to 7 to give his king a bend, black has the powerful chariot 2 to 4, cutting off the king's exit. Red resign as chariot 6 minus 2 is false and smarter checkmate comes next. That's all folks. Goodbye.